It seems like there's something for everyone in the booming motorcycle adventure touring category at the moment, from affordable, learner-friendly machines to berserk powerhouses and some pretty capable numbers as well. But even so, this presents as something of a left field option. The Moto Guzzi V85 TT combines classic Italian charm with some pretty cool retro cues. Heck, it's even built not far from the banks of Lake Como. The TT stands for Tutto Torino, or all terrain. But just how capable is the Guzzi on and off road? Let's find out. The V85 TT more or less replaced the Stelvio in Moto Guzzi's lineup in 2019, taking on similarly priced mid sized rivals, including the BMW F850 GS Adventure and the KTM 890 Adventure. Priced from $22,230 right away and moving up to $24,330 for the travel version tested here, the Italian takes a slightly unconventional approach to the Adventure Tour Brief and makes quite the statement in the skin with quality components and unmistakable styling. As the name suggests, the travel lends itself to more long distance touring with inclusions such as this adjustable screen, heated grips, LED lights, as well as the big panniers you see at the side. One thing is shared with the regular TT is the 853cc air-cooled transverse V-twin engine. It knocks out 80 horsepower and 80 newton meters. You also get KYB suspension with 170 millimeters worth of travel, Brembo brakes, and Michelin Anarchy tires. The engine has been given a thorough once over in the latest model year update and is complete with four riding modes, ABS, traction control and a ride-by-wire throttle. A dry clutch and shaft drive ensure strong ownership credentials as well. One thing I've been initially impressed with with the V85 TT has been the level of finish and craftsmanship from the paintwork to the tubular frame, even the centre screen that you see displayed here. All the information presents really cleanly, you can see everything that you need to and it's easy to toggle through the screen using the switch gear either side of the handlebars. You can also go a step further adding things like navigation if you hook up your phone via Bluetooth. The materials used here go some way in justifying the Guzzi's fairly lofty purchase price. And for what it's worth, the almost Mad Max inspired styling does grow on you in person. The rear luggage rack and those panniers, which can hold up to 11 kilograms, offer decent storage for long journeys. That's just as well, since the V85 TT Travel feels most at home on the open road. My initial impression with the V85 TT is that I got comfortable on it in little time at all. 830mm seat height, a fairly narrow seat, and broad handlebars kind of offset its lumpy 230 kilogram curb weight. That in turn really cultivates confidence on the road. Predictable turn in, good agility between sharp changes in direction, and also the brakes, they work really well and they're backed up by sure-footed electronics. What's also evident fairly quickly is that this isn't the hardcore tourer that many people might be after. It's not really up to a BMW GS or even the products from KTM. That's just fine though on the type of rugged rural roads that we've been tackling today. The non-adjustable screen offers adequate protection on the open road and we found the screen and ergonomics were a strong combination if you're spending long hours in the saddle. That brings us to the engine. It's characterful, shaft driven, and does make a nice little thrum under those middling revs. You're getting 90% of that peak torque figure from 3,750 RPM, at which point the V85 TT really pushes strongly to its 8,000 RPM cutout. It's clear that this engine is full of character, but it's not really the visceral, heart-thumping V-twin that some people may be expected. It works well, but it's not really leading the pack in terms of torque or power outputs. For that reason, you're gonna be a little bit more reliant on the six speed manual gearbox um, over tight mountain passes, things like that. You really gotta choose your gear out of corners. There is ample torque there, but if you're really trying to get somewhere in a hurry, you gotta make sure you're in the right gear for the occasion. The gearbox works well. It's got a light clutch take up. Ultimately, I think it could really do with a, a quick shifter unit like you find on the GS. For that reason, it's just not quite as easy to just fire through the gears either up or down. 
Unlike Moto Guzzi's of all, old, you can come into a corner, you can bang down through the gears quite late and you're not gonna lock up the rear tire. So all the electronics and everything else work quite well in that regard. The other side of the engine having that much character is that it is prone to a little bit of vibration. You're gonna notice it at low speed, at high speed as well. It's good in that it does sort of cultivate a lot of feeling and feedback through the key controls, through the handlebars and the foot pegs, but on a longer ride, you're probably gonna notice that level of vibration at all times. A 23 litre tank wins back valuable points, providing an approximate 500 kilometre real world range and really buying into the adventure ethos. Where the V85 TT travel really comes into its own, as the name suggests, is touring. It's got a great open cockpit. All the controls feel within reach. Everything feels well positioned as well. The seat's comfortable and it's a bike that you can spend a lot of time on. I've noticed that there's very little buffeting over the helmet, thanks in part to that big screen. The mirrors offer a really broad outlook behind you and I haven't really had any sore shoulders, any sore wrists, anything else. It's a, it's a bike that is super comfortable to be in the saddle for for quite long periods of time. In rural back roads or highway settings, the suspension works really well. It's not quite as controlled as rival units, so you'll notice if you hit a big washout or a big G out, it doesn't quite recover as quickly as, as better known touring products, but for the most part, it does everything quite comfortably. The brakes are also really sure footed. You can grab a handful of front brake and you'll notice that the bike does dive a little bit, but it still feels controlled and measured and it does pull you up, which is the most important thing. The rear brake probably isn't as strong as some people might like. It's also you know, quite subject to a little bit of ABS pulsing as well, but it gets the job done. That brings us to off-road. Now we played around a little bit today on some gravel roads. It felt really strong over corrugations, either through mid corner or on the open road, it feels planted. Even at the crumbly shoulders of the road, you're sort of able to gauge everything that was happening. There's plenty of feeling and feedback with this bike, which is a real strong point. There is a limitation though. We took it off the beaten track a little bit more and yeah, the suspension travel, even with 170 millimeters, particularly at the rear, you're gonna notice it's bottoming out at the end of its stroke a little bit more. So while it can go off road and while it probably does more than what Moto Guzzi advertises, there is a, a real ceiling there. You're not gonna quite get the, the breadth of capability that you'll get from a BMW GS. Well, we did manage to find the limitations of the V85 TT travel on test, we also tapped into something you wouldn't typically celebrate with an adventure tourer, its design and character. It makes for quite a memorable package and one that probably deserves more accolades than it likely receives. Charm, character and charisma aren't really the traits you think of with an adventure tourer motorcycle, but they really are hallmark features with the Moto Guzzi V85 TT Travel. This bike has shown it is really capable on rugged roads, you can throw a little bit of dirt at it as well, but equally, there aren't many adventure machines that stand out at the Saturday Cafe set, and the style and presence of this machine really does help set it apart. If you're not so concerned with performance or capability, well the V85 TT Travel makes a really nice left field option.